So last night I had the opportunity. Um, I went and saw Annabelle Creation. Last night at uh, 7 o'clock the theater had a special showing. Um, the theaters really don't do midnight showings anymore. Um, I think it's probably because all the theater shootings. I don't know why doing a movie earlier that would make a difference, but I don't know. But anyway, so um, I'll start off with the movie trailers I showed um, for some good other horror movies that are coming out. Um, one that's coming out is called Jigsaw. Of course, it's part of the Saw series. Um, I don't know how many years it's been since they made the last Saw movie, but pretty much, and I'm not sure if it's a spinoff either, um, based off the trailer, but someone's a copycat killer of Jigsaw, and so the games restart again, so that looked good. Um, there's one called Jigs, or not Jigsaw, I just said that. Um, there's one called Flatliners that looks good. Pretty much, like, start, stop their heart rate, and then, like, wait a couple seconds and bring them back and like I don't really know what else happens but like someone decides to start killing them all so that looked interesting on um, there's a movie called Happy Death Day or Happy Death Day or something on um, this girl gets killed on her birthday and she has to relive her birthday over every day until she can find out who killed her that looked pretty good on um, the last one was it um, I know a lot of people are excited about it um, on my Facebook feed and stuff there's a lot of stuff about it trailers and everything um, personally, I'm pretty excited for it, but I feel like it's going to scare me pretty bad, so, I don't know. <laughs> um, so anyway, we'll jump into the review for Annabelle. So personally, I didn't like the first Annabelle movie. Um, I mean, it was scary, but I felt like it was kind of slow and there was just too much talking and everything. I didn't really like it that much, but I liked this one, and it's actually a prequel to Annabelle. Um, I liked this one a lot better. Um... So basically what happens, just a plot summary, no spoilers or anything, it's just a plot summary. So this guy and his wife, it's in, I want to say like the 1960s, uh, 1970s. Um, they live on a little farm ranch house out in the country and their daughter dies. And pretty much, um, and then uh, this, this nun brings these orphan girls and they live and stay in the house and set up a school there and stuff, uh, and one of the girls um, starts to see the uh, couple's dead daughter and the Annabelle doll and all this stuff, and it just escalates and gets out of control. Um, my family would tell me I'm probably wasting my time doing this review because I had my eyes closed, or my eyes covered most of the movie, because I get scared easy. I don't even know why I went and saw it, but I just liked the adrenaline rush, I guess. But uh, yeah, I watched the movie pretty much like that, like the whole time, and then typically what I do too is I uh, uncover my eyes at the wrong time and then like a jump scene comes up or something happens, but um, overall it was a good movie. It was really scary. It was really fun being in a theater with everyone. Um, there were a lot of colorful people in the theater that were making jokes and like talking out loud and narrating and stuff. There was a guy in front of us, he kept like cussing at the movie and stuff and like freaking out. It was hilarious. But uh, I really liked it a lot. The acting was really good, um, especially since most of the movie was kid actors. They did pretty good. Um, there was really no familiar faces that I could recognize, um, so I'm not sure. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, yeah, it was really scary. Um, there's a lot of jump scenes. Um, there, it's, yeah, it's definitely a lot jumpier and a lot scarier than the first one. Um, and I would highly recommend it. I'm trying to think of what else. The music's good. Um, I didn't recognize any of the music except for uh, You Are My Sunshine. And after watching it, I'm not going to be able to listen to that song anymore. And I'm probably going to ban any of my friends or family from playing that because it's just going to freak me out. But I like the music. They had a couple 60s, 70s music. Kind of go with the time period in there and stuff. Um, I really like that. I like the acting. I like the storyline. I, like, um, I like James Wan's um, movies that he does because he does horror and thrillers and like psychological thrillers and stuff but he does the storyline different on um, the most scary movies he doesn't do like typical scary movies like there's a serial killer and then like uh, stereotypical high school students and stuff are like oh there's a ghost in the house and you have people come get help it's like there's a lot more backstory and a lot more stuff and like it really seems like he does his research for it and stuff with the movies and he tries to make it like not bloody or like really violent scary but like actually like emotionally or like psychologically or like whatever scary like he literally gets you scared 
instead of just like gross you out with like a bunch of blood and violence and stuff. So I really like that too. Um, I don't even know why Annabelle was, uh, creation was rated R. There was literally nothing in it. There was no blood from what I can remember. There might have been a little bit, but there was no nothing sexual. They never cussed. It was like perfectly fine. So, but lately, based off like the Conjuring and stuff and everything, the um, film critic people said they based his movies to be rated R just because of how scary they were. And so, I would agree with that. The critics were right on that. That it was genuinely so scary that they had to make it rated R. Um, I would recommend it if you're a horror movie fan, if you're a James Wan fan. Um, a lot of people are kind of critics about his stuff. They don't think the Insidious movies are that good or that scary, but I like them. Um, I like the Conjuring series, and I'm starting to like the Annabelle series now that he kind of redeemed himself with this new one. Um, but I would highly recommend it for everybody. Um, you know, if you have nothing to do or like you're bored, you can't decide what movie to go see. Just go with your friends and go watch it because it's a fun time. Because everyone in the theater is going to be freaking out so even if you don't want to watch it or whatever you're gonna get like free entertainment so I mean why not but yeah I definitely recommend it um hopefully I have a green screen in the background hopefully the poster uh, showed up on that um I'm gonna try and uh update it and everything start using my green screen more um I'm using the wax program so hopefully that works but yeah um I hope you enjoyed this review um, feel free to check out my other reviews, my other videos. Um, feel free to subscribe as well. Um, and go check out Annabelle, Annabelle Creations.